fishing freaks. We're gonna be doing a mystery tackle box slam today. Got a little extra challenge today because I've got Mr. Winston with me. Now, he usually never comes on the fishing trips unless Ocean Spoon Girl is in the boat. But Ocean Spoon Girl is at a bachelorette party today. Just having fun, I guess. So she left me here with old old bulldog face. He's not very good on the water. Uh, number one, you can't swim. All of his beef is up front, solid muscle, just sinks like a rock. Number two, he gets real distracted with like bugs and other dogs and any kind of animals and things like that. So we're gonna keep him kind of leashed in so he doesn't jump in the boat or jump in the water. But he's gonna be a little extra added challenge to our slam today. So Mystery Taco Box, one of the channel partners, as you guys know, uh, has sent me another one of these pro boxes. So we're gonna get into uh, all the baits, see if we can catch something in every single one. Check them out. You ready to go, Winnie Pooh? This is gonna be interesting. All right, Winston, you ready to go? Okay, looks like one of the first things we got here. This is a good thing to start out with. This is the Stan Sloan Zorro Bait Company uh, Banjo Blade. This is designed by Wesley Strader. It's a 3 8 ounce. It's a Colorado Willow Tandem. Looks like a pretty good little spinner bait. Winston, don't you be getting too close over there. Don't want to have to go jumping in for your butt. This is the problem with Winston on the boat though. He can never chill out. He's just always, he's on high alert. He's, he's guard dog by nature. Really tiny little guard dog. So he just can never settle down. He's always like, what's that? What's going on over there? Throwing it on 15 pound test monofilament line. Got it on a medium heavy action rod. This is the favorite big sexy. And we got a high speed gear ratio reel. Blades are huge on this thing. I'm gonna start out reeling this spinner bait right through some bushes here. Where are they at, Winston? Where are they at? You gonna run the trolling motor for me? There he is. Got him. Got him, Winston. Got that fish. What do you think about that, Winnie Pooh? You want to smell him? You want to smell him? You going to lick him? Yeah. Okay. Let's get another one, huh? I threw that right out of the package for a few casts and um, I was having trouble with it. So if you guys get this in your box, um, I actually switched this this back Colorado or this back willow blade out. Excuse me, Winston. The, uh, the stock blade it came with, it's about the same size as the willow I put on here, but it's a, it's a greater thickness. I guess that's what they call the banjo blade, but it really wasn't working with this spinner bait. I mean, this might be this particular one, but it was causing it to roll over, which is what you don't want with a spinner bait. You want it to run straight up and down. It's got a cool little keel on the bottom, but um, it's just that back blade they put on there. I don't think it's the right blade for the spinner bait. You gotta be kidding me. I got hung up right on the bank. <laughs> Trying to catch some fish with old Winston here. You got old Winston with you? Old Winston today, yeah. Did we spot for the snap? Yeah, dude. <laughs> dude, that's awesome, dude. <laughs> Went and found a little calmer area right here. I'm throwing this I'm a square bill right now. Red in color. I'd really like a shad color right now to match the shad spawn. There's a bunch of shad that are 
up here in this buck brush, but we'll see if they want this craw. It's really made for the, you know this fawn type period when fish are in the backs of creeks and in shallow water. You can kind of get it in that, that depth and leave it there. Deflects really well and it has a super wide wobble to it too. It's almost like a, like a wake bait. There's a tiny one. We just hit it and ran straight away from the bank. You want to come smell this one too, Winston? You want to come smell it? You want to smell it? Just like your, your owner? Yeah. Smells good, don't it? I've been pretty impressed with its deflection capabilities so far, but some of these little stick-ups I'm fishing are just nearly impossible to get through with anything, with treble hooks. Another one on the Ima crank, just right there at the boat, bit it. That's a better fish, Winston. Much better fish here. Oh yeah, he just had it sideways in his mouth. That's when you know it's a good one there. There's a nice fish. Just look at that, just sideways. Sideways, that's awesome. I think I have a group of fish that are in this location right here, so I'm gonna try to switch up to this Montero. It's, it's not gonna be good for the uh, for all the stick ups, but it's gonna imitate the shad that are running around right here. I've seen a lot of shad in this area. I think that's what's keeping the fish there. They like that little Ima square bill though. Something about that action, even though it's the wrong color, I think, for right now. Um, but I had like a chartreuse blue or just a white, that'd have been awesome. It's a perfect size too, but it just stays like right in that top two feet of the strike zone where these fish are right now. I got a fish on. It's just in the brush. There it comes. Got him. Got him on the Montero. In a mouthful of trebles. Mouthful of trebles, Winston. I knew this bait was going to be such a big challenge just to get it around that, get it out of that brush. But I just twitched it a couple times. Oh, fix his gill there, there we go. I got it right around this brush and I just twitched it a couple times and it came up and ate it. You're just gonna get hung up a lot with this thing. Like I just did again. What do you think, Winston? Where do you think they are? We'll check the electronics. Check the map. Okay, there's one bait I've been saving because I know on this lake that I'm at on fish like shaky heads. But this is the uh, Ketchco flicker worm. So it's basically got like a elongated tail to it, like a spaghetti noodle tail. So the tail's gonna have more action. So I'm gonna put that on a shaky head light line. Now that the sun's high, you know, the fish are kind of done doing their shad feeding. I think this will be a, this will be a good, good thing to throw. All right, guys, hooked up on the shaky head. This is one of the final baits for the slam. Oh, nice fish. Nice fish. And a fighter. We got it, Winston. He didn't even notice. Hey, Winston. Winston, look what I got. See? 
I've caught enough now, you don't care anymore. All right, that is the shaky head. Knew it was gonna happen on that, no doubt. Okay, we got all the baits except for one. I'm gonna try one last area, see if I can get bit. If that doesn't happen, we're gonna, we're gonna take old Winston in. He's starting to get hot. This old bulldog's getting overheated out here. All right, last chance with the old swim bait. Let's see if we can get a bite. If not, still caught fish on everything else in the box. These little marinas sometimes will hold the shad during the shad spawn. So I'm just gonna try to swim this by the uh, little shaded areas here. This river to sea walker, you could also rig this on an A-rig. Uh, that's why they call it the, the rig walker. But this, this size right here with most swim baits, it doesn't swim as good as the other sizes they have. They got one that's a little bigger. I just always feel like smaller swim baits like this get a little stiff it swims okay but it's just not as not as fluid as the other one. Oh, there was a fish right there oh I got it oh my gosh he came up and whacked it right there oh got him got him yes slam complete yeah, baby. Smoked it right under there. Yeah, Winston. We got him on all lures today. There's another one. Oh, man. Here he is. Got him. Oh, my gosh. Look how black that fish is. Holy cow. That thing has been living shallow right there. Got it done, guys. Got it done. Hey, guys. Guys, we're in the vlog. You guys fishing freaks? Oh, yes. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Was that some gang signs back there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. All right, had some of our local fishing freaks come over and check out uh, what we were throwing today. That's always good. Always good to see you guys. You know, the last thing I was throwing, the hardest thing I thought that I was gonna fish and not get a bite on uh, was this River to Sea Rig Walker. I actually ended up catching two fish on this, but it was in the little marina area, swimming it up under some docks. It was completely different scenery from what I was fishing uh, earlier, I fished a variety of different scenarios today, but um, I've thrown these type baits in the past up under marinas and anywhere the shad are spawning, um, and I've caught fish on them, and that's the perfect size right now. So that's a that's a good little swim bait. Normally suited better for clearer water, and I would say usually swim baits are just they're a lot better in, in clearer water than versus like a spinner bait or a chatter bait. The flicker worm on the shaky head, I knew I was going to get uh, a few bites on this. That just always seems to work out here at this little lake that I'm at. It's got some rocky areas to it. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a good color for this dirty water. It's kind of a variation of a color I throw uh, quite a bit. That's watermelon chartreuse. So this was a uh, like an orange with a water. Hey, apologize to the fishing freaks. So that little flicker worm is a great little bait to throw. It's got a lot of action to it. I just throw it on a shaky head or a Carolina rig, you're gonna get bit with that. I would say this bait probably takes the cake as far as all the baits in the box that I, I thought had the most potential. This is a unique uh, crankbait right here, this, this Ima square bill. It's got a very sharp um, dive to it and it has a, a very wide wobble. Uh, it's almost like a wake bait and you can fish this in real shallow water. Like it's perfect for the for the situation I fish out here at like really shallow rocks, really shallow stick ups and things like that. It goes down there like that two foot and you can kind of hold your rod tip up high and just get it to stay right in that zone. 
Uh, it just has like really sharp hooks, really good body action. Um, the only thing that I would change is the crawfish color. Like I would probably throw that more in February in Texas, but I'm definitely gonna go get some of these, probably four or five of these in some shad colors because it's perfect for this lake that I'm fishing out here today. This was another one I thought I was gonna have a challenge with catching a fish on just because of the cover that was up shallow. Where the fish were, where they were feeding on small shad, it was mostly like really shallow, like less than a foot of water. Uh, and this jerk bait dives down. It's got three treble hooks on it. So you got nine chances to poke into something and get your lure hung. But this I think would be better suited for more clear water. Um, that last spot I fished that has the marina around it, that would be an also that would also be a good place to fish this. Anywhere you've got deep water close by. Now lastly was that banjo blade spinner bait. I don't have it anymore. I lost it. I broke it off. Um, but I would have thrown that all day. You know, I, I probably would have just stuck with that because the conditions were right for it. So that is it for the MTB slam today, guys. Had a lot of fun out here with Winston today. We made it through, dude. And we caught fish on all the baits. And if you want to catch fish on MTB baits, you can go to uh, mysterytacklebox.com. You can use my promo code in the description to receive a discount on your first uh, on your first box. Get it going. You know, tell them LFG sent you, and get to cracking. Get to cracking on them largemouth heads or smallmouth or whatever you're doing. And if you haven't already yet, guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button down below if you like watching this bass fishing action, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Say later, fishing freaks.